Hey guys, it's Cassie and it is time for the holiday gift guides to begin. Whatever you are celebrating towards the end of this year, I have done the research and these are all luxury items under £500, $500. We have got something for everyone here. I'm going to call it. I am. Links to everything will be below. And guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're going to love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. Starting off with a piece that I always include in this gift guide because it is one of my favourite luxury items ever. The Louis Vuitton coin card holder. Now, this, this colour does no longer exist for purchase. However, I do believe they've just released a silver one that looks fabulous. This is my ride or die wallet. I love it. You've got your zip section in the middle that you can put coins and bills that you folded. You've got a pouch at the back and then you've got your slots for cards. It's fun, it's interesting, it's compact. I cannot sing the praises of this anymore. It is one of those must-have pieces, so I had to include it on the gift guide. Another SLG, Saint Laurent's Jamie Cube. It's, it's a charm, it's a bag charm, but I think actually it could have quite a lot of uses. I think it's a fun little thing. It comes in a few colours. It's this lovely little leather cube with a zip across the top. You can put your keys in it. You can put AirPods in it. Because it's a cube as well, it's got, it's got quite a lot of volume in there. Okay, trust me. I think it's a cute little thing for somebody to have as maybe like inside their bag as a little catch-all, or you could put tiny bits of makeup in there. Or if you know somebody that likes a bag charm moment, maybe hanging on the inside of somebody's tote for those little grabby things like keys or whatever. I think it's a really cute one and they come in some fun colors. Loewe Anagram Belt. This to me is very interesting and I'm very intrigued by it and I think if you are buying for somebody or for yourself, feel free to send this to whoever you need to get a hint to, alright? I, I am happy to be the one that is blamed. If you are buying for somebody who likes a waist belt or maybe wears blazers and jackets that cinch in at the waist, I think this is a really fabulous detail like to add. So it's on a little thin leather strap and then you've got the gold Loewe anagram in the middle and just imagine that over a black blazer just cinching it in just a little something, a little hardware pop, unexpected, really cool. I think there are a couple of different leather colours that this comes in but yeah that's just how I see it, just oh my gosh, maybe a high-waisted Maybe in place of like a chain belt if you were to wear a high-waisted black skirt with this again. I think she's quite versatile. One of the hottest bags of 2022, the Diesel 1DR bag, comes in under our budget. There are some that are just over depending on what size you're after. But I would have been remiss not to include this bag. Comes in some really great colours. I personally have a little soft spot for the metallics. I think the metallics are great. There's like a metallic-y orange. It's delicious. It's molten. It's like lava. Mm. Diesel is having a moment. This bag is having a moment. I can see it getting more and more popular. It's already quite a hot piece and I think it's a really great gift if you know somebody that loves a little bit of TBE, maybe has an interest in diesel or dresses a bit more down the diesel route. I think this would be grossly appreciated. This next category is one that personally I can't relate to because if you are a seasoned subscriber you know that I cannot do hats. This hair, it's, it's one or the other. It's either you have the hair or you have the hat. I've chosen to have the hair. I don't know if that was the best decision or not. But if you are looking for any type of hat, I'm talking about caps, um, bucket hats, winter beanies, that kind of thing. Gucci has a really great selection. And I think there are some really quite interesting ones. They also have quite a range of headgear in general. So like headbands, things like that. Something m maybe that you're looking for a little bit more sporty, or a winter bean if you want to be a practical gift giver, then Gucci's got a good selection. Next up, perfume. And I have two of my own and one that I recently smelled that I would also recommend. So perfume is a really, really great gift. It's luxurious, it's fabulous. When you put it on, oh, it's just, they can be very comforting. So two of my personal favorites for 
fall winter moment. First one would be Killian Angel Share. This smells, I've described it this way before and I'm gonna describe it this way again. It smells as though you spend money that's not your own. It's giving sugar baby in a very good way. Like, <laughs> I love it. It smells sweet and warm. My preference of scents is a bit more on the sweeter side. Warm, it smells very ambery, vanilla-y. There's an underlying like sexiness about it. I love this a lot. If you want something that's not as sweet, that's maybe a little bit more woody. I recently smelt the Fleur Somebody Wood um, in Sephora recently. That's a really beautiful scent to unisex, but that would be more sort of conventionally unisex scent. It does smell, you know, a little bit more intriguing. And finally, also sort of down that woody vibe would be Celine's Black Tie. This is an absolutely ginormous bottle of it. I actually got this for Christmas last year. So I would highly recommend, I was a very happy gift receiver of this, okay? So again, there's that sweetness, but there's also like a smoke behind it. It feels like you grew up in a house with a lot of mahogany that had a drawing room and like your grandpa smokes cigars and drinks port at the end of the meal in the best way, once again. Sunglasses can be a bit of a hard one to buy. So my suggestion here is quite a crowd pleaser of a sunglass, unless you know the person's style very, very well inside and out. And I think Bottega has a really great selection of timeless looking sunglasses that are still not boring. Does that make sense, right? Pers well, in my opinion, I like the sort of gold frames. I like how thin they are. I personally don't necessarily like a wide arm. That's just a weird personal thing about me, fun fact. So I think the Bottega ones are really chic looking. I think there's quite a lot within their range that would suit quite a lot of people. Now, this is a tech item, AirPod Max. I am a recent purchaser of the AirPod Max and I'm very very happy to be one. These are great, these are obviously in the green colour, they come in red, blue, silver and like the black dark grey I believe. You're like oh but you know they're over $500 on the Apple website they are, alright? I Go on Amazon, I got mine on Amazon and they were £100 cheaper, go on Amazon, Best Buy also has these for cheaper than the Apple store, okay? They are fantastic. The noise cancelling on these, it's so good. You can turn the noise cancelling off if you need to be able to hear what's going on around you a bit more, but if you want to get in the sodding zone, these will do that to you. Also, they look chic, let's not lie. They're a fantastic, luxurious tech gift. I'm sure anybody would be very happy to receive these. So my mum's got this thing where she thinks that every Christmas, this is because she had this growing up, every Christmas her present was a Christmas dress. And so she's always tried to get me like a Christmas dress growing up and this is where this suggestion has come from. Obviously I bought the self-portrait Gigi dress and it is a showstopper. If you are looking for a party dress look no further. That one is phenomenal. It comes in, it, the, the first colour that it dropped in is green, it's also coming in pink. If you want to get the heads turning get this sodding dress. It's great, it sparkles, you feel like a beautiful little pixie fairy dust magical little creature in the woods. It's fantastic. The only thing I do say is that it is a bit more on the sheer side so get a bodysuit or a slip or something underneath um, if you want to feel more comfortable or if you don't. You just want to be out here thongs to the wind. Good for you. Nipples out. Get it. That's great but also self-portrait in general. Their dress selection is great at the moment. I was did not used to be a fan of self-portrait for many years. It was too much lace for me. Now they've got a really great, they've got, they're doing very well, if I do say so. There's also a shirt version of this dress, in case you're maybe a more of a shirts person. That looks amazing too, it's like a satin, again, all with crystals, it's glorious. Do I need it? Probably yes. I also think I suggested these last year, and I have no regrets, because you know how much I love these. The Swarovski Lucent Hoops. These earrings are great. You get compliments every time you wear them. They come in four colours. This is obviously the yellow. They do green, pink and blue and they are just fantastic. They're not the lightest earring but they're not heavy as well. Um, so you can definitely sort of, you know, last a good few hours in them. They are so unique. I've not seen anything like this, especially because the crystal is, you know, like it's long crystal. 
I don't know what I'm trying to say here. It's not like parve, it's like a long, you know, you know what I mean. I just think that they're really cool. I like the fact that they are square hoops. I like the colours that they come in. I think they are truly stunning. Swarovski as well, have a look if you want, you know, some statementy earrings, that kind of thing. They're doing very well at the moment. Another diesel piece that I definitely think is worth the purchase and is well within our budget are these little diesel tops. This is obviously the beige version. It does come in black and a light pink. And I just think it's a really great, fun, interesting, again, if this is somebody's style that you're buying for. Um, do you look a little bit like a superhero? Yes. And truly, don't we all want to feel like a superhero some days? It's great, it's comfortable, it's a really nice soft knit, it's not an itchy knit, you know I do not like an itchy knit. Going back to self-portrait, going to a bag, oh, self-portrait has dropped their bow bags, okay? They do these in a few sizes, the TBE ones are within our budget. Little top handle, sort of flares at the corners, and it's got a metal bow on it. Now, I cannot attest for the quality, I haven't seen this in person, but if you, the vibe is obviously very girly, very feminine. So if that's the vibe of the person you're buying for, then this is a really, really great option. They also do one that is all crystals in the mini version. So again, if you are buying for somebody that's very girly, loves sparkle, loves glitter, loves a crystal, then honestly, I think that they would maybe combust opening this up in the best way possible. The next suggestion I have is actually a collaboration. And this is the Frame the Ritz collaboration. I got this jumper from them for Christmas last year. And again, I am here to tell you, I was a very happy present recipient. And I think it's a really great, they've got a lot of options within their collection. They've got things for men, for women. They've got little accessories. Maybe if it's somebody that travels a lot, maybe the little travel slippers are a really cute idea. There's a lot in there to love. So I would suggest a little scrolly scroll. Back to Saint Laurent, I urge you to have a look at the Rive Doit section. This section is nestled under their website and it is incredible for gifts of all budgets. You can get, you know, lighters on there for, I don't know, five pounds or something, all the way up to thousands. They've got such an incredible selection of essentially Saint Laurent merch. Um, also, if you are wanting to buy a Saint Laurent cap for somebody, get it from the Rive Droite section with their collaboration with New Era because it is much cheaper than a normal YSL cap, but it's still a YSL cap. Don't ask me how that works, I don't make the decisions. If you want a little luxury treat for well under and well within our budget, that is definitely worth a look to. My last category of suggestion are scarves. Don't roll your eyes, all right? I'm not here saying buy somebody a woolly scarf, but if you did want to, <laughs> Loewe has a really nice one. If it is somebody that lives in a cold area, you know they love a bit of luxury and they would get a lot of use out of a woolly scarf, then Loewe, Acne has some great ones as always. But if it's somebody that lives in a warm area, and maybe they want a silk scarf, they can do the little silk scarf top tying in 22 different ways situation. If you can see them doing something like that, get a 90 centimeter one, because that's usually big enough to do all sorts of little scarf top. And maybe if that is your intention and you think that they would get a lot of use out of that, put a little thing in it, in the box, that's like a little, I don't know, you can probably get it off Google Images, like nine ways to tie a scarf in there so that, you know, it gives them a little bit of inspo. And do you want to know who is within our budget? If this is, this is gonna sound and look so bougie, the Hermes silk scarves, the 90 centimeter ones, are $480, I believe. So this is one that I picked up because I'm going somewhere warm soon. I shall keep you updated. And I would like to venture doing a little silk scarf top situation. This is really fun. I think it's a really great, very bougie, over the top gift for somebody. Also, if you do want to gift orange boxes and you don't want to spend orange box money to do so, I would suggest looking at the Hermes Beauty range purely just because of the name and the packaging and, and all of that and the experience. It really does feel 
very, you know, special and magical and maybe not something that somebody would readily treat themselves to. It's a really beautiful gift. They've just come out, these have been out in Europe for a while. This is a little highlighter, it's very good. It's, trust me, it's actually very nice. I'm actually wearing it today, do you see that shine? It's this, right? So they've got highlighters, they have nail care, hand care. The lip balm as well is a really bougie, just little something, a little treat definitely have a look there. I hope you like my suggestions. I hope that they've been helpful. Let me know if you want me to do any other kinds of gift guides on the lead up to Christmas and the holidays. Let me know. I'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.